The intentional attack has students and university across the country on edge. At Michigan State University, there's an alert system similar to the one Ohio State used to warn students and faculty, but MSU police say that system is only as effective as students and staff make it. Fox 47's Faith Miller spoke to police and the student body president about what the public can do to help keep campuses safe. Michigan State University student body president Lorenzo Santavica says he's good friends with Ohio State's undergraduate president and though he's shocked and saddened by Monday's attack on OSU's campus. We have to be ready for things like that and it's unfortunate that it's coming to that you know ideal in America. A big part of being ready, says MSU Police Captain Doug Bonnet, is making sure your information is up to date in the university's email and text alert system. Staying informed and being proactive is a key component to uh, uh, being safe and surviving these types of encounters. Students just need to be very uh, conscious of what you know is going on around them. I think our university does a pretty good job about doing that for students, and um, ultimately, it's everything that you know everyone should own. Santa Vica says he's fielded a lot of questions after the attack, mostly about what it means for Michigan State and other Big Ten schools. The biggest question comes to be is what do we know that we can expect from our university that we're paying many dollars to in our tuition and security and safety and uh, students just want to be uh, reassured that they are going to be safe here every day on campus. Monette says university police are prepared for incidents like what happened at Ohio State. We train, we train quite often for these type of events. Um, we've been training since Columbine to make sure that we have the, the resources and the equipment and the techniques to be effective and efficient. The police captain says this incident is unlikely to change how the university prepares officers. It keeps up on the latest trends in training regardless. In East Lansing, Faith Miller, Fox 47 News. Manette says there is also additional information available about how you should act during dangerous and violent situations.